Hi everyone. One critical question we have to ask ourselves is who decides the quality of our life? Simple question. How do you define the quality of your life? Intrinsically? Are you happy inside you? Are you happy with the quality of life inside you? Extrinsically? By the things you use? Right? The quality of life as seen by the vehicles that you travel, whether you are traveling by air, by train, by reserved compartment, by first class you see, or if it is by flight, is it by an economy, executive class or a first class. The type of things you use, the pen that you use, the watch that you wear, the dress that you wear, right? The people that you move with, the society you move with, Right? So, we cannot define uh, which is the quality of life you want. But whatever you decide, who is going to decide your quality of life? I may wish, I may desire, right? Instead of traveling by economy, I would love to travel by first class uh, to, to fly to United States. Who is going to decide that? So that's what I'm going to touch briefly. Maybe uh, in a few more episodes, I'll try to touch on this. I've been um, speaking about this to some of me, some of my you know, uh, union category employees for the past nearly 20 years. I belong to the, maybe seen the third generation of uh, work structure way back in 1970s, the 1980s, 1990s and now. During 1970s, the situation was the designation of worker, worker, worker is a person who works with body, with a cocky uniform, right? Um, he has to just obey the command given to him, worker union category worker but now when you pass through these 70s 80s and 90s and now there is no category of worker there are various other designations given like associates or whatever uh, maybe so the first stage of uh, working is working with body for uh, example could a typist a driver, a mason, right? Um, so they work with the body. One day they are sick, they cannot produce result, they are not paid. They should use their hands and legs and work. Ledger posting, telephone operators. I am talking about way back 1970s and 80s. So you should be physically present in the workplace. And let us say for that you are paid a unit of salary, let us say 10x, 10x. The next stage is when you start using mind. So the first one is body. When you start using the mind, Again your body is working, but when you apply the mind and do the same work, there is a different quality of outcome. The output is different. You think differently. You think and work. As I said, I have seen 70s, 80s and 90s and now I am seeing the, the latest uh, management structure. An operator or a workman was not expected to think, period. Let's be very clear about it. When a mission breaks down, you should report to the supervisor. He will think because mind is at work. And idle the motor on. When the mission is not working, you can sit, relax. I have seen a worker joining as a mission operator let us say there are three shifts A shift, B shift, C shift. 
He joins as a mission operator, a shift, a particular mission, a particular CNC mission. For 20, 25 long years, he would have worked in the same mission. Apala CNC kade late. And among the to function again, and the shifters and the Uruang. And the shifters and the Mathe worker, the video like that, even power. Our retire of Moduda, maybe one more shift would have come into existence. Okay. So, but when you start using a mind, you are paid more than 10x, maybe 12x, because you are using the mind. This is where the quality circle started coming. Where in the previous era, a worker is not expected to find a solution. He is only expected to report a problem. Then the Japanese made a big difference. The workers also can think. It was a huge discovery given to the world. Then they realized, why were we not thinking? We were working. Now we are thinking and working. So there is an enhancement of your compensation. The third one is called intellect. We call it as buddhi in the Indian languages. You work in a different mindset. Intelligent work panano. In the work tevya, either where we must say lama, is there a better alternative way of doing it? Can we eliminate this process altogether? At this level, normally Minella or a supervisor may work, a manager may work. So when you work with body, you are paid 10x. When your mind is also at work, you are paid 12x or 13x. When you are intelligent, we call it as knowledge workers, you are paid 15x. Okay. Then the fourth stage is very, very important. Using others' body, mind and intellect, we call it as BMI. Using others' body, mind and intellect, that means you become a manager. You take the role of managing the body of others, the mind of others, the intellect of others. You don't do physical work, you do thinking, strategic thinking, strategic consultancy, motivating, empowering. You are paid 20x or more than that. So, the quality of life depends upon out of these four stages, wherever you are. Think about it. More about it as we go along in a couple of more videos, I will touch on this. How the compensation package is decided by use of these four factors and how if you want to improve the quality of our life, we need to increase the output using these four factors. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe with the bell button. I will meet you in the next episode.